Y'all wanna talk about relationships and energies? Y'all wanna hear about the tea? Y'all want me to drop all the spill all the tea, which I'm about to do. Mukbang, mukdang, mukdang. Ever since I seen my first mukbang, mukbang, mukdang, I've been wanting to do one, so I'm super excited for this video. For today's serving, we're having KFC and Taco Bell. Um. Mm. We set the food up. Like literally I spent 20 minutes trying to figure out okay how do I do this video to where they can see the food I use so many different tables and it's like it's rather you're gonna have to cut me out like it's a no for me you can see the food or it's a no for the food and uh, you, you can see me so you see which one I chose this is what I'm working with here y'all got me my chicken wings my taco got some potato wedges over here and i got some uh cinnamon cinnamon twisters these are super super cool so my kfc and my taco bell <laughs> look at me solving problems one step at a time let me go back to my thumbnail Welcome to Vlogmas Day 3, guys. I have been consistent. I know y'all proud of me. Like, this is like my third day straight doing Vlogmas. I'm so proud of myself. I put a poll on Instagram and I was basically like, which one would you guys prefer me to talk about? School and like what I want to do with my life and like my future. Or I could talk about like relationships and energy. And I'm going to check right now which one won. Or like which one currently is the highest. So currently, Winning at 53% is talk about relationships and energies. If you guys want to be in any of my polls, like I'm going to be doing, like for all for Vlogmas, I'm going to do, be doing a lot of polls and just like questions and anything like that. If you guys want to be a part of anything like that, follow me on social media, Instagram at Alexizzle and also Twitter is at Alexizzle. So definitely keep up with that so you guys can be a part of these videos. But I'm hungry as hell, so let's jump into this McBain. Y'all wanna talk about relationships and energies. Y'all wanna hear about the tea. Y'all want me to drop all the spill all the tea, which I'm about to do. Okay. I'm just gonna go right into it. So your girl got out of a relationship in like June, late June, early July. Um I was with that I was with the kid for like three years. I was in love. We were gonna get married and have each other's babies, whatever. The relationship was just really, really toxic. And it took me three years to get out of it. When I say get out of it, I don't mean like, oh, he was holding me for hostage for three years and, you know, I had to stay because I had no choice and I was held against my will. When I say it took me three years to get out of it, I mean, it took me three years to come to my senses. Like, throughout the whole relationship, God was throwing me signs and throwing me flags, and a, your girl was like, ah, 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 you thought, you thought, you thought, until three years later, it hit me right dab in the face. So, <laughs> that, that, yeah, that relationship was really, really toxic. I can definitely, if you guys wanna hear a story time about my last relationship, which is also my longest relationship, and also my most adult relationship, but if you guys wanna hear a story time about that relationship, Definitely put that in the comments because I will. Huh, that's some tea, y'all. That's some grade A tea. That's some Boston Tea Party type tea, y'all. Let me tell you that. That relationship was just. Let's just say there was multiple problems. <laughs> it was it was a bit of a triangle. <laughs> if you guys know the story, you would you would be like, oh, okay. And for my friends that's watching it and that knows what I'm talking about, they're like, oh, okay, Alexis. <laughs> oh, I was so stupid, y'all. Like. Basically, to sum it up, your girl was in a whole ass polyamorous relationship. But again, if you guys want to hear the story time about that, put <laughs> that in the comments below. So, the relationship ended in like late June, early July. And by the way, guys, my three year relationship 
that was the person like I was the only person I've ever you know with and my only experience in that situation basically and so while I was with him I never thought in a million in a million and three years that I would ever like have any type of experience with anybody else so we break up or whatever the case may be and um I feel like when we broke up I was I was flabbergasted at the at the fact that I thought it's like for this whole time like when we were together I was thinking like oh my gosh like when we break up all hell is about to break loose like my whole entire existence as a human being is going to be over and so the idea of us not being together it was like oh my gosh like what kind of person will I be if I'm not with this person hold on I forgot my hot sauce shout out to Simply Kennedy so Simply Kennedy which is another youtuber on YouTube obviously she did a mukbang uh, about Taco Bell and she used hot sauce and I was like what the hell like what the hell so I tried it once and I was like oh my god it's so bomb it's so bomb y'all should really try out try mild hot sauce on Taco Bell tacos mmm it's a little soggy that's fine it's cool So we break up and I was flabbergasted about the idea that I took it so well. Not that like I wasn't hurt or anything like that, but basically it was like my life isn't over. <laughs> I feel like for me, I was over the relationship before it was even it before it even ended. And I feel like that happens with a lot of females before they even decide to end the relationship. I feel like they're just mentally over it. And for me, that's what it was. I was like already mentally over the relationship. So when it got to the point where it was like officially over, I guess like I was grieving while I was in the relationship. So when it was like officially over, it was like, oh, okay. That ended. I ended up taking it more well than I thought I was. I don't know if more well was that prop was a proper way of saying that, but whatever. Better. I ended up taking it better than I thought it was. Fast forward. It to me. I knew I wasn't ready to be in a relationship again and I still know that to this day I know that like I'm just not in the right place and I need to like find myself more before I jump into another relationship because obviously these niggas got me fucked up and um obviously I'm not just in I'm basically I'm not in a place to handle them getting me fucked up I knew that I was like you know I'm not getting a relationship till I'm 25 till I found myself loved myself discovered myself and I got my coins and I'm just this established independent woman and so that was that but it was like for me it was like okay I'm not gonna get into another relationship till I'm 25 cool cool that's fine but a girl still wants to be loved and rubbed and dubbed and you know from time to time so I'm like okay I'm not about to wait till I'm 25 to get rubbed and dubbed and tubbed by the way y'all KFC sells barbecue wings, not all KFC sell barbecue wings, but KFC probably sells some of the bombest barbecue wings. Pro tip. Anyways, back to the story. So I was like, damn, like, I ain't never went through a whole phase. And I'm like, can I even go through a whole phase? Can I be a whole? Mm, who knows? Let's find out. <laughs> but me and my ex was still talking here and there. Like, actually, we're talking consistently. I'm not, why am I BSing? I don't know. Let me just keep it real. We was talking consistently. We was talking, like, almost down there every day or every other day. We was hanging out, like, once a week. Like, girl. Like, I knew for me, I was mentally over it. I was done with the relationship. I knew we would never be in a relationship again. I was over that. But I still, I feel like I was still holding on to that bond. Jumping back to what I was talking about. I'm gonna eat, huh? I'm gonna eat and talk. This is what my thing is. I was like, I wanna see if I can be, if I can do this whole face thing. And so I was I was talking to multiple <laughs> plenty plethora of them. <laughs> I call them my tea bucks. <laughs> Me and my best friend call them the, my tea bucks. It's for her th my thirst buckets. So I was talking to, talking to my tea bucks per usual, and like so happened I ran into this one tea buck. <laughs> Let's call him like the king of the tea bucks, the emperor, fuck, the emperor of the tea bucks. <laughs> so I'm talking to the emperor of the tea bucks. And I'm like, you know, really feeling his vibe. And for me, like, I really do, like, 
feel guys more so on like their personality instead of their looks so like if you got like if you give off give energy if you got like you know a good like ambition going for you good like personality funny all that stuff you can you can you can possibly get me and still be a three <laughs> not that the king of the tea bucks was a three i'm just saying his personality is what drew me to him so i'm talking to the king of the tea bucks and i'm like you know what he's a cool kid this is i'm gonna shoot my shot this is who i'm starting my whole face with and so i hit him up in his dms on some udtf or not now this story is a whole nother story for, for with, within itself so if y'all want to hear this story put that in the comments and i'll definitely tell this story it's a it's a fresh one it's a fresh room but you know what better time to talk about the pain and suffering that niggas caused me than when it's fresh when it's fresh you know what better tea to give than hot boiling tea you feel me like the other story it's, it's lukewarm y'all you know it's lukewarm tea it's still some good tea but it ain't gonna hit the spot now this one's a little bit more boiling hot but that's how people like their tea so whatever hit him up in his dms you know shoot my shot um ding 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 you feel me and so basically long story short i found out that i'm not a i'm not a good hoe <laughs> and i feel like one thing one lesson i learned from the emperor of the tea bucks was like I needed to cut ties with my ex. Like I, I learned that from being in that situation with the emperor of the tea bucks. Because I noticed, like even throughout, like before I met the emperor, even before that, I, I would be talking to my tea buckets or whatever, and sometimes I would be like getting real hurt, you know, a little crack in the heart, a little, a little feelings, a little tickled. You feel me? And it's like, girl, like, why is you stressing? Why is you stressing over these tea bucks? Something I realized was. Even though I was mentally over the relationship, and it's actually something my best friend pointed out to me, even though I was mentally over the relationship, I feel like I was still, I was still holding on to the bond. Because again, like we were still talking consistently, still seeing each other here and there. So I feel like I was still holding on to the bond even though I was over the relationship. And it was like, I haven't grieved the loss of the bond because I'm still in it. So definitely like talking to, the, talking to that kid, made me realize and how hurt I was when he like did some did some typical tea bucket shit <laughs> when, I, when I realized it's like I'm not hurting over these tea bucks what I'm really hurting over is like like uh is my ex and it's just easier to like be hurt about these the little the little tea bucket stuff that these tea bucks do and then it is to like face the real problem at hand so that's something I definitely realized from hanging out from like basically the situation that I was in with the Emperor of the Tea Bucks. It's just like, I feel like it's all about energy, not to get all like hippie-ish, but it's all, it's all about energy. And like one thing I knew when me and my ex broke up, I was like, I wanna go on this journey about bring, like, ch like rebuilding my energy. Cause I was like, I feel like I'm bringing the same niggas around me. Like I got a thing on my forehead that says, these, is, these are the type of niggas I want. It's like, nah, it's not that. It's like the energy that I have is like drawing these type of men. And so, I was like, I need to rebuild my energy because because Chief called and uh, he said uh, that that's that's not it. You feel me? So I was up. I was like, I need to rebuild my energy and by doing and also by doing that, it, it, it means taking out the energy of my ex. Because despite like the good friendship that we were able to build, because we were able to build a really good friendship, it's still rooted and the, the foundation of it still is a very 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 extremely toxic situation and so you can't really it's it's too soon to have those two things be mutually exclusive for me to be his friend so i did i i texted him, my ex and i ended it like i not i mean the relationship was over but i ended the friendship and it ended very beautifully y'all like it was like on some like this is what this we both were understanding of what we need to do and how we need to grieve and being on some like i still love you like i hope our paths meet if it doesn't like i wish you the best of luck type shit this is a way better ending than girl in june or july when i was just like it was like carrie underwood in june and then ariana and uh one thing i also realized from being a single woman now Mm, chicken is bomb. That's another thing I realized. I realized this chicken is bomb. No, another thing I realized is from being single is like niggas is weird. Like 
all of them i don't care what shape what color what they all mad weird yo just a dating vibe is super weird all these tricks and rules and you gotta do this you gotta do that and it's like basically we all want to be treated like shit and the more you treat us like shit, the more we're gonna like you. But for both man and female. So females like niggas that don't really like them, that treat them like shit. That's the niggas we gonna chase. And then niggas like females that treat them like shit. Like the more you treat a nigga like shit, the more they want you. And it's like, obviously we both ain't gonna treat each other like shit. So then will we ever both like each other simultaneously? I don't know. For me, like, I just ain't that. <laughs> Again, cheap Alex. No, Alexis called and said that's not it. Like, is that was not it for me? I was on some like, nah, bro. I'm not about to sit here and overly analyze and be an asshole to people. I don't feel like being an asshole to. I'm gonna be an asshole just because I feel like being an asshole. I'm not about to just force myself to be an asshole to you just because I want you to like me. Like, that's some weird shit, bro. I was some weird ass niggas. I was just on some. I'm gonna just do me, I'm gonna just do what I do. If I feel like not talking to you, then I'm not gonna talk to you. If I feel like not answering your phone calls or liking your pictures, I ain't gonna do it. But if I feel like just throwing all my love and affection at you, then I'm gonna feel it, I'm gonna do it. And it's like, and if either of those things turn you off from me and be like, I don't wanna rock with her, then that is what it is. You keep it stepping, you know? <laughs> Thank you, next. You feel me? Or more like, fuck you, next. And so, I was like, I, that was the tip I'm on. That's the tip I'm still on, actually, to this day. Because I'm like, I'm not about to stress myself out because I'm trying to get a nigga to like me. Like, I'm going to do all that. I'm going to stress myself out and listen to these rules and the tricks and the life hacks of how, how to get a man in 10 days, basically. I'm going to be stressed. And then what if I don't get him? Like, and then when we get together, do I still got to be an asshole to you for you to stay with me like and then how, how the roles change i'm just be an asshole for you for you like me and then we're gonna get together and be nice and is you still don't like me like i don't i don't know i feel like it's crazy that if i like somebody i can't show them that i like them because then it turns them off because they know i like them <laughs> what <laughs> i want to finish this chicken but i'm trying to like talk i don't know how long of the video can i just like eat i'm gonna eat real quick i'll be back I'm full. I'm full. I'm done. I tap out. Yeah, that's that's basically my relationship life. That's my love life. That's what it is. That's what it has been. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And like I said in the beginning, y'all better join the A game because A game is the game to be. And y'all just out here, just 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 support your girl. You know, I don't even know where I was going with the last sentence. All I gotta say is just support your girl, subscribe, turn on your notifications, enjoy Vlogmas, y'all. Happy holidays, by the way. Merry Christmas and all that good stuff. This is the most I've been consistent in the past two years I've been doing YouTube. So please, I am join the A game, watch Vlogmas because it's just it's putting in work. I'm in finals week and I'm trying to do Vlogmas every day. So my camera died right in time because I, I I was almost done. Anyways, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys like this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you do. Comment down below some video suggestions or any other things y'all want. If y'all want to just say, hey girl, you what's up? What you doing? I'll respond. Just just hit it, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace. Hey.